It is the Riot Podcast. Welcome in to the Friday edition. So just to peel back the curtain, uh do you know the date? September 10th. (laughs) September 10th. Yeah. Uh, But uh, let's see how well Isaiah remembers our show from this morning. (laughs) Because normally he has a computer to help him with the what's coming up in the podcast. (laughs) But today, yours died. It died. Is it just the battery? Yeah, the battery just died. So now I have to add, like, I listened to the entire show. Uh, It's just a fun little game we're going to play. I'm always curious. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I'm I'm tuned in the whole time. I'm paying I, attention. I also feel like Hudson and I, we should just talk about random things and yeah. confuse him so that when his time comes to tell us what we talked about in the show this morning, he won't remember any yeah. of it. Yeah, remember when we talked about the beat shortage? Oh, yeah. oh my I love that part. Yes. I really love yeah. that part. Actually, it's no fair because it's Friday, which means you could just say football. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. This weekend there's football, He's got a but cheat code. we did talk about or football. football. A lot of football last night, yeah. so it counts. But yeah. let's see what you remember. So we will just go off with the football. Mm. We talked about Drew Brees and how he is just kind of in a tough spot. He's, uh, Twitter kind of had their way with him last night. He, he can't win. He's looking no. different, and what's different about him we'll talk about. Yes, his if wife, you missed it. His wife is either really upset with him or he's really upset with his wife, Aww. in my opinion. I think he looks fine, but I also think he looked fine before. Right. But when you go into TV, I'm sure a lot of people around him were like, you don't look good enough. No, you and don't look so good I'm enough. so I'm sure that led it to that pressure. It was written into his contract. Yeah, yeah. They, were like, they were like, new for you. You need something new, <laughs> yeah. and we're going to change it. But uh, we talked about also a new contender in the chicken sandwich war. Mm. Yeah. And this place, and just so you know, the, I'm, in my mind, there's no real chance for it to be because at this place, I usually get a grilled cheese. Oh, really? So <laughs> a grilled cheese and mac and cheese is like my go-to. Though. I don't is even... it a crispy grilled cheese? <laughs> yeah, it's real crispy. <laughs> I don't even have a usual at this place that's uh, entering the fray. So. Well, I, um, I don't, ex- we just didn't expect it to try, but mm-hmm. I mean, chicken sandwiches are still such a big place or a thing for places to try to throw their, their hat into. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for this one, it, I don't know. We'll have to see. I want to see some place that we really don't expect get into it. You for know a crispy what? chicken sandwich? Yeah, like well, this is starting to get there, but I want something totally out of left like field. Like Waffle House or something? It. Yeah, right. Like we, some place, that, and they just knock it out of the park and it totally changes their the brand. best one. Yeah. We didn't bring it up, but they were saying Panda Express has like their test kitchen in Pasadena, mm-hmm. and they're doing a crispy orange chicken sandwich. Uh, so it, that, the orange chicken that they have different. is going to have a bun and everything, Ooh, yeah. but uh, they're just testing it there. Do you sometimes think... Panda Express has a drive through right? It does. That's the express yep. part? Yeah. Uh, I never go to Panda Express partially because the cheap Chinese place, the Band-Aid place that I still like, <laughs> is right across the street and it's much better. The but Band-Aid I also think... Place. You didn't know that? No. He, what? They had a Band-Aid in the Crab Rangoon that he got. And he ate And you it. still go back? <laughs> yeah, I do. What? It was just the one time. I'm going to Panda because my good, the good I'm old Band-Aid that. place is still there. <laughs> so. Did you just say it was just one time? It was just once. Just uh, once Band-Aid. is more than enough. Band-Aid me once. Shame on you. Band-Aid me. T- Wait, I guess that means I should stop going because then it'd be shame on me. But they're yeah. not going to do it. I trust them. Why don't we... I trust them. Oh, my god! Why don't we maybe write this down for Monday's podcast and mm-hmm. show? Because if Isaiah doesn't know about your Band-Aid thing, yeah. uh, maybe we'll he needs to hear the, the whole Band-Aid story. story. Yeah. We haven't told that explicitly since I joined the show officially. Sure. So well, we, let's do we that should bring on that Monday. back up. We'll ma- put a pin in that <laughs> and we'll yeah. talk about it on Monday. Oh, and then we always get to ask people what gross things have you found in food? Mm. And oh, there's always good, some good that's stories. A good so, that's a good all right. Well, I think you're off the hook for the rest of the podcast. That was good. You know, <laughs> I remember a couple of things. Remember the show, you know. So everything else will be just a pleasant surprise. Yep. But feel free to text and say hi at 877 to Radio U. Maybe have you found something gross in your food and you want to be featured on the show? show mm-hmm. on Monday. So uh, send us a text in or uh, message us at Radio U Riot on Facebook and then maybe you'll get featured then. Yep. And uh, remember to leave a very nice review. We might read it on the show. Mm-hmm. And uh, Five Band-Aids. Five yeah. Band-Aids. All right. Well, have a good weekend. would be too everyone. many for us. Yeah. <laughs> That's four. Three, four, three too many. Three too many. Three too many. <laughs> have a good weekend, guys. Bye. Catch you later. This is The Riot. Radio U. We saw the Matrix 
Resurrections trailer drop. Yes. And everybody on my Twitter was talking about it. Now, it wasn't the teaser trailer. That was the few days before. Uh-huh. That was the teaser to the trailer that came out yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yesterday was like the movie trailer. Yes, the actual trailer <laughs> that actually shows you stuff about the movie. Which comes this, out uh, this December. Which they couldn't have just dropped the trailer. They had to tease it first. Well, I mean, it probably worked. I think they got a lot of views yeah. for both of them. Yeah, the trailer, you watched it, right? I did, yeah. It Wasn't it so good? I was amazed at it, but then the entire time I was watching it, mm. I don't remember. There was three Matrix movies, right? I think so. I don't think I remember them very well because I kept thinking, <laughs> like, I was trying to connect the story to whatever the three other movies were, mm-hmm. and I just had a hard time, and I was like, no, let's just take the trailer as it is. Yeah. And don't think about the other movies. No, I'm with you. <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember them. I don't know if I have seen all or some or what I've seen of the Matrix because mm-hmm. like most of it came out when I was so young I don't I don't it wasn't like I was ready for such a thing so I don't know if I've seen an entire Matrix movie and so that's but what I was thinking when I watched the trailer was oh I gotta go watch well, the old watch ones the old so ones? I'm ready because <laughs> the trailer looked so good and then it started making me think well what if this is just a really good trailer you know because I it felt like the trailer was its own movie. Sure. That, uh, that could be it. They, with, they gave a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. And uh, with like the score that they were putting in there with the, I appreciate, I really did, that the song they used, uh, oh, which was a bit on the nose because it's talking about t- which pill you're going to take. Mm. What's that? It's a Jefferson Airplane song. But I appreciate that they did not use some... Uh, some new updated version <laughs> that's sung, uh, you know, that's a lot more dramatic. They that's, just took the, the origi- original one. They took the original and added some strings to it, but it wasn't like it's some new songbird sure. redoing it in a very somber way. Did you just call a songbird? Yeah, songbird. <laughs> a singer. You know, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Again, that just seems like a very old timey way of instead of well, a singer, it's just you the call ti- it a songbird. Well, it's just the type of because you know you've seen trailers for other things, and it's no, always I know like what they do. It's an it's an old song, but then they have like some female singer, and it's singing it way slower sure. and way more dramatic. And it's way worse. Well, and see. so they should just <laughs> go with the old one. I'm sure it is. Uh, I'm sure it's got a lot of views. It was mm-hmm. weird seeing who's the guy in the beginning, uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was a weird, weird one, right? He's, he's he like doesn't the, really do a lot of things. He's like the therapist. I was like, wait, okay. But uh, <laughs> it looks interesting. It was a good looking trailer. Yeah. Oh, and yet, I'm sure you liked seeing uh, Keanu oh, him? in all oh, his glory. Oh, yeah, I hardly noticed. <laughs> Is that him? He, lo- <laughs> he looks so young. Everybody was saying that uh, that he, like on Twitter, it was like, he looks just like John Wick. It's like, yeah, that's just what he looks like. Well, <laughs> I understand what you're saying. It is weird, though, when you see him with like shorter hair. Uh-huh. Uh, it is hard when you're used to seeing Keanu as a very important character as John Wick. Yeah. Uh, I also get confused because there's a lot of you know action in it. And I'm like, hey, John Wick's <laughs> back. And then you're like, nope, it's the other guy. What if, it, what if they just do a crossover? Um, that that'll be that's an idea. Don't uh muddy the John Wick waters. Yeah. Just leave his you don't be. Th- you don't want multiple John Wick Keanu uh interpretations, nah. Neos in the same movie. We'll see. Let's just see One what this is enough. does. One is enough. Yep. Okay. This is the worst of the riot podcast. We've got another potential entrant into the chicken sandwich wars. It, no, they're not anymore. You don't consider <laughs> well, this? I, we tried last week the uh, Taco Bell chicken sandwich taco. Uh-huh. Like it's the crispy chicken sandwich yeah, taco that they right? have. And that's not a sandwich. Uh, people were also <laughs> like, but it's not a taco. It's uh, not. It's not a taco. It's like it's an in-between. Neither. It's it's the worst. In a, I mean, it's good, kind yeah. of, but it's the worst of both worlds. So for this, I also feel like Panera um, just doesn't fit in the mix of being the place you would go to for but these crispy chicken sandwiches. At least this one is actually a sandwich, though. I know, but I don't think they do. It's the crispy part or like the chicken part. Because yeah. to me, you know, we always saw all those TikToks where they're like, here's where I open the bag and we put it in the water and it heats up. <laughs> It'll and be then... a frozen chicken patty. Exactly. As if as if that's not what Popeye's is doing also. I Come know, on. but I feel like Popeye's and everybody else has a fryer, like a deep fryer. Yeah. I don't know about Panera. I also think Popeye's. <laughs> 
Oh, no. Panera, unless things have changed, they don't have a deep fryer now. And I think you need that for these chicken sandwiches. Yeah. They, you know what Panera has is a bunch of microwaves. There it is. That's it. And then it. soup wells that are filled with hot water. Yeah. So um, I, I don't know if Panera can make this a crispy enough chicken sandwich for me. Yeah. Not not even the forget. Not even to mention the love. They need to include love, too. And I don't None know if the they have that. At, uh, but Panera <laughs> is testing out two new chicken sandwiches. Uh, that these are going to be at different locations in North Carolina and South Carolina as yeah. they test them out. And uh, one is the classic chicken sandwich with aioli. And then they have a spicy buffalo chicken with aioli. And it looks just like, it's not as crispy looking as the other ones. But because it has it's made that, in a microwave. I know, but it does have the same bun that every place has. Yeah. It's not like a brioche bun, but maybe it is. It's the, the one that has the... The, like the shine to it on yeah, the top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you can totally, you know what? The bun is probably the best part because yeah, at least probably. they actually are really making the bread at Panera. But there's no way, even from these pictures, that they look as good when you get them in person, of course. Did you see the buffalo one? Is that like pickle? Uh, it looks like fried pickle chips underneath um, it. You, you know see what? underneath? It doesn't actually say on here, does it? But, but there's but, something on there. Yeah, there's something crispy on there. <laughs> there is. Usually it's like the crispy, well, I guess that's burgers. I was going to say like crispy onions. No, it looks like, um, yeah, like pickle chips. Maybe it's just regular chips. Could be. Because they do have chips at Panera. No, if you look, though, there's it's a green. You think? <laughs> there's a green to it. Hmm, it maybe, could just be the lighting. Could be. Could be or, uh, well. With buffalo stuff, you would eat celery. Maybe it's celery <laughs> chips. It could be. Nobody's Honestly, making those. Zach texted in, Panera chicken sandwich, $20 sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> but it comes with yes. a choice of carbs, more carbs, and even more carbs. Yeah. Can I get the sandwich in a bread bowl, please? Dude, I love that. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go and get a bread bowl at Panera, uh-huh. and then they're like, and here is your piece of bread with your <laughs> yes, bread bowl. Right. You're like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> then you have the people that want to be healthy, and they're like, oh, no, I'll just take... I'll take the chips. Well, you'll get the chips, the uh, the side thing of bread, yeah. and the bread bowl. Yeah, and you're like, of course. This is all the carbs. It's it's too much. So it's, it's only North Carolina and South Carolina that they're testing the Panera classic chicken sandwich and the spicy buffalo one. Yeah, something tells me uh, that between it being, it's going to be the most expensive of the chicken sandwich wars, but it's also definitely not going to be not going to be worth the price. Sure, this doesn't seem like a war. It's like a a yelling from Panera or an argument. But Panera's it's not, like it's, not uh, a war. it's like Luxembourg getting involved in the World War or something like that. Yes, so, that's a good that, way to put it. Thanks for that. showing up. Thanks for showing up, everyone. And what's on the bottom of your sandwich? Yeah, we can't tell. By the way. <laughs> the Riot Podcast. Radio View. Yes, Hudson. <laughs> yes. All right. So we're going to talk. Isaiah is here. And we're going to talk about uh, the football game last night, the Bucks against the Cowboys. Yeah. But before we get to the actual game, oh, we have guy. to talk about the uh, what I noticed in the pregame show. And I don't know if you saw this as well, either of you, but Drew Brees, he's new. He just he just retired from the NFL last year. Sure. And so then they brought him on to NBC. I think he's doing some college games for them, and then he's also doing like halftime, pregame stuff like that. And uh, suddenly, he has hair, oh, no. <laughs> which he hasn't had for a long time. Drew, I feel bad for him. Everybody's making fun of him on Twitter. Yeah, well, you, I, I kind of do that too. Maybe he was hoping uh, before he started, because this is now like his TV career. Yeah, that he went in going, maybe no one will notice. <laughs> no chance. That's what I'm wondering. Is they just, always notice. I don't know. So, like, if you look back, and there's plenty of comparisons if you look online of what he looked like when he was still playing in the NFL and his hair, man, there's not a lot left. Sure. Which is fine. Because it's not so, like he was just keeping it cut short when he played football. Yeah. Yeah. He was, you know, he had more of a, like, a forehead. That's yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. He had more of, like, a forehead that you could see. So it is obvious he had something done, it's, but that's not a big deal. It's pretty obvious. And it's just, and it's just, you wonder. Why, what's so bad about just having your natural hair? But he's you know? on TV, so I bet he felt like a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah, but he shouldn't. Okay. Well, That's how it is. If you were on TV and you were balding, uh-huh. and you probably would want to have hair, too. Hey, and Terry Hudson's- Bradshaw's made it work all these years, you know? <laughs> I think it depends on your personality. Yeah. yeah. Like, Hudson's only saying that because Hudson has just long <laughs> He would just wear a hat every day. Hair, like, you yeah. would wear yeah, a hat anyway. Then, that's true. I, that, actually, They're that's a good point. of your hair. But if, yeah. So then, though, if you think of it that way, it would be so much more difficult for me if I was losing my hair oh, after yeah. having such long, <laughs> luscious locks all these years. If suddenly I had to go on TV and my hair was 
was falling out, it'd be tough. But you know what I do? I I just embrace it. There's nothing wrong with it. He would it. just wear a hat. He would just hide it. <laughs> well, it was funny because Hudson was like, where'd the hair come from? And it's like, well, I think they take it from the back. And right. From the back <laughs> and they, they toss it on the, the top. They what? put the hair up there, but you feel bad again. Like he's there just to talk about football and literally all of social media yeah. for Drew Brees was like, and your hair. The best, the best, uh, like response I'm seeing is the old Bosley. If you look up like Bosley haircut for or hair replacement for men or something oh, like they that. Were doing that, the commercials are hilarious yeah. from back in the day. I don't know if they still air them. And then like one of these guys, it's totally Drew Brees. <laughs> yeah, he's got total Drew Brees energy. Well, going they were on. saying Drew Brees hairline got to win comeback player of the year. So <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah, was he's, it. He's bringing it back. <laughs> but the game. Yeah, right. But the game that was, was a great game. game. <laughs> it was. I said it for the whole thing. Oh, you did. You and, did. So uh, cowboy. Boys and Buccaneers. Wow. I did. Well, it went down to the last minute. Literally, the Buccaneers kicked the game-winning field goal, I think, with two seconds left. Goodness. And uh, that was after the Cowboys kicked the field goal to take the lead with a minute 55. And you saw that, and you're like, oh, there's no chance they're winning. You know, They're going ahead with less than two minutes, but it's not enough less than two minutes. <laughs> Tom Brady's going to figure this one out, and of course he did. Good for them. Yeah, and, th- and that was the Cowboys uh, with so many turnovers. Or no. Getting so many turnovers from from the Buccaneers, they still couldn't get the win. So Cowboys twenty nine, Buccaneers thirty one. You watched the whole game? I watched the entire Isaiah. thing. Isaiah, I stayed up till halftime. Halftime, that's a good showing. Yeah, yeah. That's well, I, right. saw, I, I said, you know, I feel like it's going to be a good game, but it's not a good enough game to ruin my tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you guys need to be in communication with each other because yeah. if he's staying up, well, I'm yeah. like Hudson, I'm take it, it. Right. take we've it the a, rest of the way. Got to trade off. <laughs> All right, so who's staying up for Sunday night then <laughs> no. for uh, Rams against Bears? You didn't want to watch any of that. No, I'll, I'll, I'll stay till halftime. Okay. But hopefully nothing interesting happens after that. All right, well, if you guys just, again, communicate with each other. Uh-huh. And Drew Brees, sorry, everyone noticed your hair thing and made <laughs> yeah. it a big thing. Hudson, Nikki, The Riot on Radio U. Radio U. Nikki, you know what's coming up this weekend? What is this weekend? It is uh, uh, my dog's birthday. <gasps> hey! Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, well, we've got a, a somebody ordered a little tiny, like a dog size cake. Yeah. That, I mean, it's a big, we have a big dog, but uh, like a, a individual I mean, serving of dog cake because we only have one dog. Because, you know, normally when it's human birthday cake, everybody wants a piece. Uh-huh. But when it's a doggy birthday, it's only for the dogs. Yeah, it's just you for the dog. You don't want to eat that. And uh, yeah, we've got some, de- I mean, it's not going to be too big of a deal, but we've got just some decorations, yeah. stuff like that, you know, close family, <laughs> close, close dogs. Dude, so, your dog gets a better birthday party. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't I know it? Well, uh, I'm, so we're celebrating and then I just happened to see, and this doesn't exactly help me that much, but you can go to In-N-Out Burger. Yeah. And they will give you a free pup patty. Yeah, you get a free little hamburger patty. I did not know that. Yeah, the, lots of places go with dogs. If uh-huh. you don't take your dog out in your car, you, you I think you get better treatment. Like yeah. when you oh, go you definitely places, do in the drive through Absolutely. And you'd be surprised what they would just give your dog. Because uh-huh. sometimes like they'll give like Rolo some nuggets and stuff, different places. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'll hold them for them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold these. Yeah, right. And then you're like, ah, nah, nah. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh, no, these are definitely for the dog. Oh, yeah, he loves nuggets. Nuggets. So yeah, he I did. He also loves the sandwich. <laughs> he loves a big, nice diet coke. I know, y'all. Yes, he does. He does. And you go through, you're like, no, my dog loves bread, so yeah. he'll just take that hamburger pup patty with yeah. a bun around. Yeah, it. come on. Yeah, so that's what they say. That uh, and some ketchup and cheese. I didn't know that at In and Out Burger. In and Out. That was a very Canadian way of pronouncing. it. In and out burger, uh-huh. they will give you a free pup patty, which is basically a plain burger patty without the bun yeah. or any, and no toppings or whatever. And so then I started looking up other places that will also give your stu- uh, dog free stuff. Uh, so I can go around maybe to places that are more convenient. Oh, you can take your for, doggy for the to dog's the birthday? places. Yeah. Do they give it extra on their birthday? Well, put a little uh, doggy birthday hat yeah. on her before right. you go around. If she'll leave that on. Yeah, well, she will if she knows she what's coming all the here. Free we food. got free food. So it looks like I, I've heard of this. At Starbucks, they'll give your dog a puppuccino. Yeah, it's just whipped cream. Uh, Duncan so- will do that too. Uh, yeah, they, they call it a puppy latte there. Um, let's see at Sonic, they have their own secret dog menu and what can you get on that free menu? 
Uh, it varies at each location, but of course, a lot of times they'll give you the ice cream, just like uh, ice cream or whipped cream. It's a happy hour. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's a deal. Uh, let's see. Dairy Queen will do a pup cup for you. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of ice cream options for it, well, your dog. A lot of times they say ice cream is not the best for your dog. So mm-hmm. really, it's usually whipped cream. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've been to, to Dairy Queen before and they always charge me. For the doggy thing? Yeah, that's... Well, wow. I just ask, I say, can I get a plain cone from, I, don't, I didn't know you had to order the specific thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just say, say, can I have a vanilla cone? They'll be like, do you want chocolate on it? And I say, no, it's for a dog. <laughs> no, and then they still enough. charge me for you it. You have to say it's for my dog. It's her birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and charge me now. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that uh, that Chick-fil-A will give your dog doggy bones. Well, or uh, milk bones. Yeah. So, uh, and let's see. Tim Hortons has dog Tim bits, so there's plenty of options for you out there. We'll take her out this weekend yeah. and celebrate. We're gonna, it's gonna be a little for the dog and a lot for <laughs> <Right>. me. <laughs> you come after after the dog's weekend, you're like, I gained five pounds yeah. for your birthday weekend, but, but I ate so well. You did you hey, ate free the whole weekend? <laughs> we were partying. <laughs> <laughs> Small party, yeah. all right. <laughs> You might be thinking that this won't be quite as bad the second time around. Well, you'd be greatly mistaken. We're listening to the worst of the Riot podcast. Uh, you want to know how or why this weekend is my dog's birthday? How do you know? Well, when a mommy dog and a daddy. <laughs> no, no. The, we chose this tomorrow. Is, oh, you chose her birthday? Yeah, because oh, we don't know. We don't yeah. know when she was born. But uh, we know around the time when she must have been born. Yeah, you just pick a day. So then we picked September 11th because it's like, well, one, we'll remember. Yeah. And two, then it's like trying to make something good out of the day. So we have something positive to look at. Well, it is funny when you don't know your pet's age and the vet's just like, well, we think. And they give you like two or three years. Yeah. Of how old they might be. You're like, okay, fine. We'll just pick whatever. Well, let's count the rings. And yeah, they. I think they use their teeth. That's you how do? They tell. That's how they tell. Oh, huh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, because the. You're, I think uh, pets and probably our teeth, uh-huh. it says a lot about you, and we don't realize that, because we don't want to go to the dentist. It's how many rings they've taken off uh, pretty much. of your, of You're your like, teeth. that's just coffee rings. How many, it's fine. How many rings you have left on your teeth. <laughs> but I think that's how, how they tell for like dogs and cats and stuff. Yeah, so that's what I've got coming up this weekend, is football and a dog birthday. Wow, it's you have, jam-packed. Do you have anything? I'm, oh, yeah. I'm getting my hair done today, and that's about Ooh, it. Uh, thank you for warning me, so I can make sure I say something about it on I, Monday. I would like you to go Go ahead and set, you and Isaiah set a reminder uh-huh. to compliment my uh, hair coloring choice. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're going with a different color? No, I'm just oh. doing, I'm not a natural blonde. Oh, yeah? Uh, and my brown hair is real powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so it only takes a few weeks for it to be like, we're coming back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I got to get that fixed. I got gotcha. you. Well, I'll be, I'll look forward to that. And it will be sad if Isaiah and I both, now that we know. <laughs> Don't say anything. Both forget to say something or don't hey, realize. It actually doesn't bother me. Yeah. Uh, have you gotten your nails done recently? No. No? I've just been trying to rip okay, them all good. off. Good. So. Oh, yeah. You want to notice yeah. that? <laughs> I always wondered why. I, I really honestly do wonder why women get their nails done. Why? It's just uh, something fun like, to do. Like, does it feel good? or? Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. Huh. Don't you get so your So why cuticles? don't I do it then? Well, you don't, you don't get your cuticles cut or push but, them back. I mean... I need that because if you look at my nails, they're uh, like I have horrible hang nails and stuff like that. It's not good. But I meant like the painting and stuff. Well, that's just like the colors. painting. <laughs> <laughs> you paint your nails, right? I know, but just hearing you say it, it sounds all wrong. <laughs> It just Why? sounds very much wrong. So again, should I, again, I'm asking, he's should I start? explaining. Would <laughs> it feel good for me? Would I enjoy it if I started painting my fingernails? Yeah, I think it's, it depends on your style. Uh-huh. I don't think you have You don't the, think it matches? You don't have the style no. for it. What if it was just, like, what, what would it be a painting on my nails that would look good? Well, okay, we just we're talking like a color, or do you yeah, want to like paint a design? like an, a design, like a little snowman or something? With that, well, why don't we get pumpkins on your nails going into yeah. Halloween? Yeah, I guess. That, then I feel like I'd have a lot of pressure to wear orange all the time. You want to? Uh, do you footballs? have to match your nails to your outfit? No, you don't. You no, know? <laughs> I feel. Like, I feel like I would want to. <laughs> well, then that that's something that <laughs> your I, style I is saying. I don't have that many orange things, so. <laughs> I have to work to on work. that. Although not, I do have very bright orange shoes. So. You're coming into work. You're like, I can't. I don't have a shirt on today. And you're like, why not? You're like, well, I couldn't <laughs> find anything matches. to match yeah. my nails. <laughs>
<laughs> or I did. I go for the. Uh, this is how my messed up mind works. Is like I got shoes. Some people noticed. You noticed. You got some but, bright shoes. But if, what if if I really wanted to draw attention to my shoes, I'd do something with my nails because yeah. that would. I don't normally my normally my nails have never been painted. Uh, except for once when I lost a bet. So uh, that would really draw attention and it'd be like, oh, I like your nails and be like, thanks there to match my shoes yeah. to get people to talk about my shoes. And I think they bring out my eyes. Yeah. What do we think? Yeah. He always now, wears these neon see, color shoes. I feel like I'm starting to understand maybe, mm-hmm. maybe the nail painting. It's a fashion thing. All right. Well, you know what? Coming up next. Let's talk about all of the uh, COVID news from yesterday because there was a, oh, it was was a lot. Oh, was there some? Yeah. Just a little, just a <laughs> See, tiny bit? Some people have talked about it. <laughs> some people were upset. I guess we'll run through it real quick yeah. if you are upset about it or enough time if you're not upset with we're, it. We're going to get the text, fire up the text message machine <laughs> so you can share your thoughts. Everything you love about the riot plus a handy dandy fast forward option. This is the Worst of the Riot podcast. Australia, they've got a fatberg problem. Uh oh. Yeah, fatberg. I didn't know what a fatberg was until pretty recently. Oh, fatberg or yeah. bird? Oh no, fatberg. <laughs> Berg. Like, at first, I was like, oh, maybe they're just big boned, or you know, it's like uh, it'd be their winter weight. Right. Like maybe that's it. Let's yeah, not that, just throw that out. It there. looks big, but it's just the feathers. They kind of plume out. Now, fatbergs are. It's like the sewer problems. Yeah. Where underneath certain cities, like bigger cities, mm-hmm. uh, the things that. <laughs> you think are flushing down, yeah. <laughs> they get stuck in the sewer systems yep. and causes some real problems. They call them they call them fatbergs because like the, there's a lot of grease down yes, there, yeah. right? So the grease yeah, that's with all it. the the grease yeah. with the flushable wipes and yes. all this other stuff, it <laughs> all melds together into a fatberg. And is it bad that even knowing that when I hear fatberg, I think fat burger and fat burger which isn't a thing, but sounds like a really good burger, doesn't it? It, it does. If you went somewhere and they were like, here, try our fat burger, you'd be like, oh, this is the best. And then you find out it's made from wipes. <laughs> 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 You'll never eat a hamburger again. <laughs> uh, but I know, like, uh, I think London has one. Yeah. And that's usually the one that's most talked about. I think maybe in some of those older cities, too, it's just because the sewer systems are older. And mm-hmm. so it does cause more issues. But in Australia, they, they have it as well and what's funny about in this situation is uh which is not a good situation because the problem is they they're uh they're companies that have to clean out the drains and get rid of all those uh fat bergs say it costs them like a million dollars per year they say they have to oh, it's uh, like a full-time to thing? deal with like four thousand blockages a year Gross. in this in uh queensland apparently. And so they're saying it's costing a lot, a lot of money, right? So that's all, that's like the news side of this. But what is funny is as they're reporting the news, uh, this is according to Urban Utilities of Queensland, they say every year, 120 tons of wipes and other stuff that makes up the fatbergs uh, is is removed from the toilet or from the sewer. Yeah. That Then they say that's equivalent to the weight of 34 hippopotami. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Why are they comparing? Into a as if that makes as if as, if that's a frame of reference. Everyone is like, oh yeah, I know how much a hippopotamus weighs. Well, maybe so that Australia, seems like a lot. Like I, I don't think they're not in Australia. No, but they're not. Maybe that is just more of a a unit of measurement. I don't think it is. Here, we I don't, don't have th- that. I really don't think it is. <laughs> you sure? Well, one. <laughs> Even one hippopotamus, I guess, would weigh a lot. So it would be rare that you would be comparing things to hippopotamus. And two, I, I just don't think that is normal. We're not we're not there, so we don't know. Because no. here, don't they say like uh, like uh, horse measurements by like hands or whatever? So maybe I've never heard that either. Oh, that's but... like a, isn't it a cowboy thing where they're like that's uh that's fifteen hands high. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've never heard anybody say that. I like, guess I just don't hang out with enough cowboys. They're like, that's 31 hippos. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the hippos are just like, Why can, we not, the weight up? can we not compare ourselves to the fatbergs, please? <laughs> Come on, guys. Man, that's bad. Hey, it's muscle, okay? I know. You're like, we're just really strong We're very hippos. strong animals. Have you ever seen us fight a crocodile or whatever? It's not fat. It's, it's, it's all muscle? muscle. So please, 
Do not involve us in the Fatberg discussion. Everybody who's trying to lose weight always is like, yeah, I put on muscle and muscle weighs more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then all the fat does. <laughs> all that's, uh, well, if you're a, a hippopotamus, I'm mm. sorry that that's what they're doing to you. Yeah, imagine if they started comparing, if they started measuring Fatbergs in your weight. You wouldn't want that. All right, so, so Jim. So let's, let's all be kind to the hippos. Jim just texted and he says, I'm right, you measure horses by hands. Hey. So maybe wow. that is then the Australian way. That's a hard way to measure. Of measuring by hippos i don't know i just feel, at least with the hands i guess it would it doesn't feel like the most convenient way to measure <laughs> but at least it makes sense it's not like you just have hippos lying around that would, would have been where they got this starting off with sure. where it's like well we've got these hippos oh this weighs as much as a fat bird i don't well, know let's just say for day-to-day conversation don't ever say someone weighs or looks like or uh, measure someone by the hippo scale don't, okay? d- not by hippos or by fat birds or even by hands no even that's <laughs> just, you're five hands high just don't say anything that, at that'll all be somebody pretty short i guess <laughs> that's actually, i mean is that <laughs> why pay for so many streaming services that you don't really care about when you can not really care about the riot for free Radio U. Well, uh, the Caldor fire, that was a big deal. Uh, is it still burning? Do you know? Um, I haven't seen an update. I'm sure probably maybe some of it. Yeah. But I think they are working towards containing it, I you, guess. We never hear in the news when there's a wildfire going on. You uh, what? Don't stop. That The sentence doesn't stop there. I was going to say, You wait never a hear in the news. <laughs> when it's done? <laughs> when they're like, and now the fire is burned out. Sure. Normally that you never just, gets followed up upon. Normally you hear like, uh, like they were saying with the one near like Tahoe, like yeah. people start coming back into town. Mm-hmm. But that's usually the only update we ever get. Yeah. That's all we know is that the Caldor fire was the one near Lake Tahoe mm-hmm. and they evacuated people and then the bears came and then they let the people come back. Well, okay. You just don't throw that out there like that. <laughs> the bears were breaking into the homes for the people that were evacuated, yeah. and they were just uh, making sure things were okay. Yeah. And, and eating the food. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it would have gone bad just sitting there anyway, so the bears had to do something. But thankfully, people were allowed to return home. Yes. But what, what is interesting here with the Caldor fires, there's one house, because ov- obviously uh, the Caldor fires burned up a lot. But there was one house that escaped the flames, even though everything else around it burned. And it's because that house was wrapped in aluminum and a foil blanket. It's really weird to see yeah. it because at first you think, oh, they did a like a foil wrapping around it. Uh-huh. It is a special aluminum foil. It's, it's not like they just got Reynolds wrap out. Correct. <laughs> it is. It is absolutely not that. Even though everybody thought it was. Yeah. It and is Reynolds a, would sure like you to think that. Yes, too. they would. <laughs> Although they might have to put a warning on there. On their containers that it's like, this is not suitable for uh, preventing a fire, a forest fire. We have seen before in some areas where if it gets like super, super hot, they say like you're supposed to put uh, foil around your windows to kind of reflection out to hit the sun away from your place. Uh, But for this, it's a special type of wrapping that's like a fire blanket um, that you can put around to help protect your cabin in this case or your house. So it's not just foil. Yeah. And well, if you've ever seen somebody cooking over uh, cooking over an open fire, they'll wrap stuff in in foil and it just doesn't get burned. Right. Mm -hmm. So the the concept is there. And then they actually make stuff that that translates that concept apparently into keeping your house safe during a forest fire. And then you just wonder, well, why don't they just wrap the whole forest in? I don't think it's quite like that. Come on. <laughs> but I like your Maybe, initiative there. Right, we're just not trying hard <laughs> enough. Well, they're saying, and it's the the science behind it. It's like, it's kind of fascinating to read about, though mm. it is sad because you're talking about people's places. But yeah. the problem is it's like structure to structure uh, is the biggest issue with forest fires because one house will then... You go get so hot, burn up, and then ignite another one yeah, when right. they're so close by. When you wrap your house in this foil type stuff, it gives it about five to ten minutes to get the fire to pass by mm-hmm. without igniting the house ah. to stop the pattern with it. Yeah, so it's so, not like it's completely 100% foolproof. No, it gives but them it more just time. buys it some time to, yes. if the fire's just burn, going to burn past real quickly. Yeah, so. So it's, it's interesting to see, but if you saw the, the foil-wrapped cabin from the uh, Lake Tahoe area, 
Uh, it is not foil, but it is like foil. Yeah. So, uh, well, that's good news that at least that house was spared. I bet mm-hmm. you, I wonder if the neighbors thought they were crazy when they were doing that, you know? It reminds like me if of, they knew. have you seen the, like in the flooding areas, the people that go viral because they put uh, like giant sandbags up and there'll be this huge flood and then their house is this little circle and yeah, it's right. been spared. <laughs> it's kind of like that, you know, yeah. you, it, I'm sure it costs a lot of extra money, but it can save your place. Yeah. You just... Uh, uh, you got to do what you can if you can. So it, maybe this will be a big, maybe it'll be a big boon for the foil industry. They'll start making a lot more for future forest fires. Hopefully. Keeping people safe. If they keep talking long enough, they're bound to say something that you agree with. The Riot with Hudson and Nikki on Radio U. Get a little of this, gang. <laughs> uh, we have a new world record. <laughs> For the world's most expensive comic book. Oh, like Amaz- selling of one or? Yes, it's called Amazing Fantasy. <laughs> don't say it that way. Why not? No, because I don't That's think what that, it's called. It's supposed to be like in bold, like Amazing Fantasy. No, nah, I like it the other way. <laughs> I'm just saying it. it. I'm just I know, but it's Spider Man. Fantasy. Ooh. <laughs> it, it is number it, 15. It, it is actually, <laughs> when, when you say it the way I say it, it makes it sound like something different, but it is actually the first appearance of Spider Man in a comic book all the way back from 1939, right? Well, it was published in or, uh, 1962. Actually, no, 1969. The 1930, no. Yes, 1962. 1939 is the one that used to have the record. Oh, okay. So 1962, about 50 years ago, Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first Spider-Man comic came out, and you only had to pay about uh, 12 cents to get it then. What is it worth now? And today, if you could get one in near mint condition, according to Certified Guarantee Company, you could get 3.6 million dollars oh, for be it. so nice. Can you imagine just finding that? Yeah. Like, you, you just happen to have it lying around. Your grandparents never throw away anything uh, and you're going through and they're like, yes, this is was your dad's comic from back only, in the day. Not only do they not throw it away, for some reason they keep it all in, in mint? mint condition somewhere. <laughs> yep. So that was... That was sold just recently for $3.6 million to set the new record. But here's what's crazy. So the old record uh, was held by, again, a comic that came out in 1939, Detective Comics number 27. Mm -hmm. That was the first appearance of Batman. That sold, uh, a copy of that sold last November for about $1.5 million. Well, so the, that's a huge jump. The The big difference is you could have these old comics, but if it's not in this near mint condition, yes, that's then the difference. it's not what you're going to get. They say that the one that just sold was a 9.6, which is one of only four copies of that comic to reach that score. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no other known copies to have a better condition score. Right. So that's, that's as nice as it gets for a comic from 1962, well, particularly. Particularly this comic that features Spider-Man for the first time. Good to the person who sold that for what? 3.6 million? Yeah. But you know what's kind of sad though? Is there was another copy of a of Amazing Fantasy. Number 15. <laughs> that was rated 9.4. Uh-huh. That just sold for only $264,000. Can you imagine you're the person... <laughs> You uh There's you a sold, big difference. You thought that was you got a lot for that one. And then just moments later somebody buys the three point six spends three point six million dollars for one. There's only point two points better rating. Yeah, but they also say it's just the time difference too, because that was back a few years ago. Yeah. And now people are willing to pay more money for how do they phrase it? Things from childhood or from like long, long time ago yeah. that brings out like warm fuzzies. Yeah. So if Spider-Man is something that you grew up with and you're, you've are you got $3.6 million yeah, to spend on Yeah, you just it. have that around. But hey, you know what? <laughs> it was bad enough the first time around, but now it's worse. Don't believe us? Just keep listening. You'll find out soon enough. This is the Worst of the Riot Podcast.
calling this segment Sincere Sports Talk. Oh, you need like a sweet. little song intro or yeah, something. Yeah, <laughs> because that was a big thing when I when I took over the show. It's like, hey, we're actually going to talk sports sometimes hey. and like really mean it. And so <laughs> we're going to mean it too. We're, we're going to watch them. We're going to talk about them. And we're going to enjoy it. We're going to make it we're a part like of the it. show. <laughs> well, I promised Isaiah. I was like, hey, Isaiah, you just got to come in more often, not just for uh, football talk. Yeah. So we got to do better on that. I think Isaiah, let's just uh, live produce the show real quick you should just wander in here just Whenever. any old time in and the middle of segments just yes, wander in and say, yes, well, i was kind of thinking this i mean it i mean it you should come in if you have something interesting to say <laughs> you got to speak up otherwise yeah. he's just going to be like football come on, yeah. isaiah. isaiah are football. you ready i'm like yeah i'm ready because right now Nikki, i feel away. all people know about you is that you uh you're into sports too and you have a dog named yep. jim, Jim, named jim and jim. you like milk and those are your three things wow. so well, at least i have need, three things we need to expand <laughs> expand a little more on well, you is there any we talked to like you know obviously NFL stuff yeah. and for last night's game but for college football since we're all so into that uh maybe some of us a little bit more uh-huh. uh what what looks good for this weekend yeah well of course the big one is although it's not as exciting of a slate as last week maybe was there is a couple of big games particularly Ohio State is playing Oregon mm-hmm. And that should be a really big one. Two ranked teams going head to head. So uh, what are you guys' thoughts, Nikki? Well, wasn't there some sort of like worry if you're an Oregon fan because of being on the East Coast and it's an it's earlier game? It's a big game? time difference. Yeah, yep. it's a big time difference That's for gonna be, their players. It's going to be tough to be uh, on the road, hostile environment. Mm-hmm. And then for the Oregon players, it's going to be... Like the game is starting at 9 a.m. Which so, is a little early. Yeah, a little that's, early. That'd mm-hmm. be tough on your body. And so. so I'm not sure, like for NFL games, I think they get more travel time and probably a little bit yeah. nicer of accommodations yeah, and travel. Sure. But for college teams, I think you you get there pretty close to the game. Well, yeah. you wouldn't want the travel to interfere with your classes <laughs> or anything. Of course, so. school first, you know, yeah. that's what they do it, right? Obviously. I don't know. But look, Isaiah, what do you think for the score? I think it'll be interesting because last week Oregon beat Fresno State. 31 to 24. And not that Fresno State isn't a powerhouse, uh-huh. but <laughs> Wait, they are not hey, a powerhouse. Talk bad, don't talk bad about <laughs> but, Fresno State. <laughs> but Ohio State didn't didn't perform as well as I would have liked last week. Yeah. But I think it's going to be kind of tough for Oregon to come in to Ohio State and get the win, especially because they're missing uh, who is probably the best player in college football right now, which is Kayvon Thibodeau, their defensive end, who was seen last week in a boot Ooh. leaving the game. So that's a big loss for them. But What's I think either way, boot? Ohio State wasn't great. <laughs> What's I, all that about? Ohio State wasn't great last week, so I think it'll be a good game. I, I think, think people are more nervous than yeah. they were before the Minnesota stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, a lot more. I think Ohio State has a really good game here. Mm. Be- between the the stuff with Oregon where just being on the road and your body clock and stuff like that, that's going to be tough. And then Ohio State has a high-powered offense. Their, their quarterback isn't especially experienced, but uh, their strength is scoring a lot of points. Oregon's strength is not. Their strength is their defense. And then, like Isaiah said, their best player is injured. And Ohio State, uh, like they have a great offensive line. So even if he was was playing, you're still going to have protection for your quarterback. He's still going to have time to throw. And so I just I don't know how Oregon uh, can keep up with the points that Ohio State will put up. Is there any other big games? Uh, the only other big one is Iowa State against Iowa. They call that the Cyhawk game. Ah, the Cyhawk game. Which makes it game. sound pretty cool. That is that's, a cool name. That's because it's uh, the Cyclones against the Hawkeyes, oh, which are cool. also both cool names for teams, I have yeah. to say. Iowa, you got it uh, going on there with yeah, that. Really, that's, Good old hey, Iowa. That's what they've <laughs> Who got. Would have they've got that in the caucuses. <laughs> and the, yeah. <laughs> but uh, everybody thinks Iowa's going to win because Iowa looked really great against Indiana last week, mm-hmm. and Iowa State barely beat Northern Iowa, who's in lower division. But I think I'm I'm gonna pull the call, even though it's not technically an upset. I'm gonna call the upset. I think Iowa State gets the win. Okay, I think Ooh. they were they were just a little sleepy last week because they were looking forward to this game. Mm, you so. gotta save your strength, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they were sleeping in, and now they're ready to go. They're ready for the upset they're now. They were just taking it easy last week, you know, and now they're ready to they uh, to want, pour it on. They didn't want to give too much away. No, oh, yeah. That's enough of that. For more riot content, head to riot.radiou.com.